Hey friends, this is On the Couch with Vouch, and today we have Doug Anderson, right. soloist and member of Kana's Voice. Kana's Voice. So, Doug was with us probably about three or four years ago. It's at least been three or four years ago. For a full length interview, and I hope that you have watched that already. It was a full On the Couch with it, Vouch. It was one of the best ones. It <laughs> was the best. I say that every time. Yeah, I'm sure you do. We'll so, just go with it. All right. Well, Doug was with us at a very transitional right. time. There had been some big news that had just come out. Right. You had announced that you were leaving Ernie Haas and Signature Sound. And now here we are four years Almost later? Almost four years, yeah. Wow. Four, four years, years later. Fast. Hey, mute those phones while you're watching. Thank you. Thank you for that. Now here we are four years later. So tell all these guys that are watching and gals right. what has been going on for the last four years. Well, I mean, I have all my solo tour that goes on every year. It's called Back Porch Tour. Um, so we've been busy with that. I do about 60 dates a year. And then, um, hi, Landon. Hi, how's it going? This Hello. is Landon Bean. Nice to see you. Uh, I do about 60 dates a year with that. And then about 30 to 35 dates with Canada's Voice, which is a brand new trio. Uh, most people are still finding out about Canada's Voice, which yeah. consists of myself, uh, Trandon Green and Jody McBrayer, and we've been having a ball. So we do about 30, 35 dates of that. So that winds up being about 90, 95 dates a year. So very busy. Um, I just came out this past year uh, with a new Christmas project, which is one of my all-time favorite things that I've ever done. Yes. Uh, and it's called Nothing More Than Back Porch Christmas. <laughs> so that tour went well um, this last year, and then this year the tour, the Christmas tour is already full. I'm going back to Norway. Sweden with that. I went and did a solo tour out there with my regular stuff. Now I'm going back to do the Christmas stuff. So we're busy. Of course, you know me. I'm all about the family. The yes. girls are growing up. I have a 17 year old daughter. I have a 14 year old daughter. And I have a wife who will have been married 20 years this year. So wow. it's, it's busy. Full plate. But it is good. Yes. Absolutely. So tell these folks you did the quartet thing. You're doing solo stuff. You're doing trio stuff. The only thing you've not done is a duet. But I want to ask you, <laughs> and right now, <laughs> no, 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 not right now. Not gonna, I want to ask you, what is the difference, the, maybe the, the top difference that sticks out in your mind between the quartet scene and then like a mixed trio scene? What, what's the biggest difference being on stage with those two different types and dynamics, types of, of groups that you're singing with? Well, I mean, I went from, and I'm not ashamed to say this, and of course I'm biased, I went from one of my favorite quartets ever. Um, high energy, high octane, full entertainment, um, and, and ministry, of course. But with the mixed trio, of course, there's a woman involved, so you yeah. learn how to travel with um, a female. Plus, uh, of course, I'm used to that. I've got my house is full of girls. Um, it's a little different. Plus, I'm traveling with now two of the most amazing voices in our industry yeah. to this date. So yeah, right. it's a joy for me. I welcome each challenge, each um, part of the journey, and we just keep rolling with it. You mentioned the voices, so obviously with the male quartet dynamic, sure. you got the low end, the high end, and then the people you're singing with now, it's really both high end. It's pretty much so, high end. So I'm singing how, a lot higher now so than I used to. I was used about to. to ask, talk about the difference in where you were singing baritone with the quart male quartet, now you're singing the third part with two people that just, sing high every night. Yeah, which I is mean, pretty much tenor. And I'll tell you, the biggest difference is, is when I do my solo stuff, it's back down in that quartet, baritone, country style flair. And when I, even tonight, I came out here and we were doing sound check, I'm like, you have to switch gears. <laughs> you really have to go in a totally different mindset. Yeah. I love every bit of it. And it's challenging at, at times because those two do, it's basically like singing with two female voices. So you're constantly writing those notes. Yeah. It's helped my voice, it's stretched my voice a whole lot, and, um, and I'm enjoying it. Well, Guys, this is the On the Couch with Fouch. This is the update series, if you, that's what you want to call it. <laughs> this uh, is a new thing. Th yeah, this is something we've only done a couple times with people. We've done full-length interviews in the past. Now we're just getting an update. Uh, if you like what you're watching, make sure, if you're watching on YouTube, make sure you subscribe, click the bell for notifications. And if you're watching on Facebook, make sure, make sure you hit the like button and that you click see first so that you get the notifications from this as well. And we're talking with Doug Anderson. That's He's it. now a soloist and a member of Kana's okay. Voice. And another question that I have for you is, as you've transitioned over the years, what is something in your life or, or in your ministry or in your heart that has transitioned as well that you want 
these people watching to get a glimpse of maybe who you are if you, as you have transitioned over the years sure. to where you are today? And I think as you get older, and we are getting older. Um, we are? We are. Yeah, I'm you can see you. it and watch it over <laughs> the years on. I had somebody come up and say, hey, you don't look the same as you did on the Gaither videos. Really? Really. That's <laughs> great. I think your perspective changed more than anything. I think yeah. the things that you thought were important, super important, you know, 10 years ago, really aren't that important anymore. Uh, more about my family, more about making a difference, more about being a part of something that's bigger than myself. Um, and the struggles that our family has been going through um, with my mom and, and things like that. You know what? I keep telling my girls these days, it's going to be okay. God's got it. It's going to be okay. And sometimes I have to tell myself that. Um, but your perspectives change, and I just love to see people touched by, by what we do. And um, and look at the big picture. Now it's got it. Absolutely. Well, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this update version of the On the Couch with Couch interview series. Doug, tell them where they can catch all the info for you. DougAndersonMusic.com. Of course, everybody's on Facebook. I have Doug Anderson Music Facebook, Doug Anderson Regular, Doug Anderson 34 on Instagram <laughs> and Twitter. Don't do Snapchat yet. Yeah, okay? I can't get me involved. either. Yeah. Me either. Thank you, guys. Thanks for watching. And if you go to onthecouchwithfouch.com, you can sign up to get the email so you don't miss any of the interviews. Take care, guys, and God Peace. bless. Bye bye.